Next question I wanted to ask was uh, about recomping. What is a recomp? I know you've written about it quite a few times, so you can elaborate on that. Yes, great question. So I've been really trying to push recomping, and the reason why it's you know you got to look at someone's like their circumstances, you know. And I train a lot of bikini competitors. So before I moved to San Diego and had this glute lab here, I worked with just mostly normal people. And I'd get a girl, say she weighed 135, and I'd just make sure, I, I, I'd be like, what's your diet like? And they'd usually describe a pretty good diet. And I'd say, okay, your diet is awesome. You just need maybe a little more protein. You're getting like, you know, you're getting like 70, 60 to 70 grams a day. I want you getting like, say, you know, 90 grams a day or something like that. I want you to get 90, 90 to 100 grams a day of protein. So if you can just add one scoop of whey protein to your diet, <laughs> Uh, most a lot of my clients don't like whey protein that much. I love it, but anyway, <laughs> um, or you know, eat a, a Greek yogurt, or add in a piece of chicken, or something like that. Then you're good, okay? Then I don't tinker with their diets that much. I just make sure they weigh themselves uh, every well, once in a while. Make sure they're staying that, around that weight. So that client might start out at 135, and then at the end of the year, she's still 135 pounds, but she looks totally different. And I have pictures of women like this. And if you they were to come to me right in the, the first week and I said, hey, you're gonna weigh the same amount for the next year. They'd be like, they'd be like, great, I don't even wanna come here then if I'm mm -hmm. not gonna lose weight. But they do, they lose fat while simultaneously gaining muscle. So that's what recomping means. It means you're staying the same weight but you're changing your body composition. Gaining muscle, losing fat. Now your first year of lifting, maybe you could put on, you know, if you're a man, you might be able to put on 15 pounds of muscle and lose 15 pounds of fat. If you're a woman, maybe it's like maybe it's like eight pounds, but that makes a huge difference visually because in our 135 pound woman example, if she gains eight pounds of muscle and loses eight pounds of fat, that equates to like probably five percentage uh, points lower in body fat. Like say she was 22% and now she's 17%. You're gonna look a lot different. And, and here's, here's why you look a lot different. First of all, you gain muscle in the in the areas that you that you tend to be you want to be shapelier in those regions. The glutes, you know, the legs get a more a, a bigger sweep. The you you don't gain it in the midsection. You actually lose fat off the midsection. So you'll lose fat in the problem areas. You know, for a woman, the back of the arms. You know, sometimes the abs. Usually the legs and the thighs. So a lot of times you'll get smaller. Like I have clients that are like, look at these. I weigh the same amount, but look at, here are my jeans that I wore last year. And they show there's like a four inch gap in the jeans that they used to wear. And they're like, I can't believe I used to wear these, but they weigh the same amount. And so, uh, so what's really happening there? Okay, basically with all the heavy weight training, you're just signaling your body to, you know, use these proteins to build muscle. You're eating, you're eating, you're eating. You use the proteins to build muscle. So then you end up it's like you, you create like a deficit situation because uh, like a caloric deficit in the sense that the body now needs to go towards your fat storages for energy. Mm -hmm. um, so you end up using more of your body fat and more of the, the, the carbs and fat that you eat just to carry out activities of daily living and you know live your life. And so uh, I wish more people knew about the recomping option because I was always told, oh, you gotta bulk and cut, bulk and cut. And uh, I, would, I would do these extreme bulk, bulks and cuts and I'd put on 30 pounds and then I'd lose 30 pounds and I'd look the same. I know it works well for bodybuilders, but it never worked that well for me uh, where I would be like, man, I could have just stayed the same weight and just kept trying to get stronger or just gained really slowly, um, gain-tained, mm -hmm. that's the name for that. But. Uh, uh, but here's the difference for me guys okay if, I don't know if you you can google this um, it's like a, a cartoon picture of it's like a caricature of a man looking in the mirror and a woman looking in the mirror and the man's looking in the mirror and he sees this what he, he's like chunky and he's looking in the mirror and he sees this jacked rib like big huge rip dude in the mirror and, and then the, it shows the woman and she's really fit and looks great and uh, and then she's looking in the mirror and she sees like an obese woman in the mirror. I do believe there's some truth to that. Um, I don't know if there's research on that, but 
I can look in the mirror and like when I'm 250 pounds, yes, I have a belly, but I don't focus on my belly. I just look at my shoulders and my traps and my quads and I just skip this part. I'm like, yeah, looking good. <laughs> Trapzilla in the house, you know? Whereas, um, like we tend to like, you know, you'll see guys that aren't even that fit, like strutting their stuff and looking in the mirror. <laughs> we tend to <laughs> give ourselves the benefit of the doubt there. And a lot of women will just hone in on their problem areas and they just over focus on that. So I wish that a lot of the women that I work with don't like the way they look in their off season or in their bulking phases. And you can, you know, that's the case because they never post pictures themselves. They're all flashback Fridays, throwback Thursdays and they never actually post any current pictures of themselves because right. they're ashamed of the way they look. And I wish they knew about the recomping option because they don't. It, you don't have to be ashamed. You can just not gain. You don't have to fluctuate so much. And the whole purpose of, of bulking and cutting was, all right, these bodybuilders would get so lean in the off season. You know, if you're at 6% body fat, you're not gonna gain muscle. You're too shredded. You don't have enough, you don't have the optimal body fat levels your hormonal levels aren't optimal. You gotta gain some fat just to be in the zone where you can build muscle optimally. Now that doesn't apply to someone with 20 plus percent body fat. So you can throw all that out of the window because it doesn't even apply. So recomp, you can bulk, you can cut, you can recomp. Um, and if you do bulk and cut, you don't have to gain 30 pounds and lose 30 pounds. You can gain, you know, 10 pounds and then lose 10 pounds. You don't have to be so dramatic about it. Mm -hmm. But the main thing is to always feel comfortable in your skin. And some people have a preferred weight they like to stay at or a preferred body fat percentage they, they like to stay at. So this can help. Do you find that recons are appropriate for advanced lifters? So in, in, for advanced lifters, that's it's like, how do you define an advanced lifter? Someone who's been lifting three years, someone who's a competitor, it's more about body fat levels. Okay. So if you, you know, I probably think if you're a male below 12% or a female below 15%, you should probably be bulking and cutting a little bit. You should gain and lose. Okay. But if you're, if you're, you know, a male above 15%, a woman above 20%, you, sh you, you don't need to bulk. Like just recomp or cut until you're at the body, at a, the body per uh, fat percentage that you like. Mm -hmm. And then you can start maybe bulking and cutting, but there's no reason for, I mean, I remember having this client and she was like 155 pounds. Um, and she, when she trained with me, she was 128 pounds and uh, she did not like the way she looked. And she came to me bawling and crying. She's like, my coach wants me to get up to like 180. What? Why would you want a woman to get up to 180 pounds when she, her <laughs> stage weight was 128? That's what infuriates me. Like, you don't even care about this person. And there's no research to show that that's better than, you know, <laughs> like, she was already too heavy for her liking. And so I, I that that's, that's what got me thinking about this sort of thing. Gotcha. Cool. I think uh, we're going to end it there. It was a good little bit on uh, recomping. So I appreciate you coming on again. Thanks for having me. You demand. Appreciate it.